Okay, I'm charging the new uh, beta battery. Um, it's it's weird how it's working. You can see the voltage is at 16 volts uh, into the battery. I'm using 24 volts. The whole motor is acting weird. You can see that light right there. Uh, it says error. Uh, that happens when I've got a dead short in the battery. So, because the resistance is so low, you know, I think that's why it's like that. Um, all the chips are running cool, so it's not overheating. And normally, I would have this cranked up to charge a battery because the resistance of the battery, this is turned way down like where I would charge a 9-volt battery, a little small 9-volt battery. But the resist there is no resistive load on the battery. Now, I don't know if the battery is actually going to work yet or not. I have to charge it, and then I have to put it on a load and see if it retains the, the charge I put on it. So right now I'm at a state where the battery's taking a charge from the pulse motor, and because the resistive load is low, um, the little error light's on, uh, which is just an NE2 light. Uh, but because I got it turned way down, it's still the voltage is high on the battery. So I'm going to have to charge it for a while to see how that works. And I've I come up with another design here for the battery. I built all these plates. It took me eight hours to put that little battery together. And then I started thinking, well, there would be an easier way. And what that is, is to take a cell like this, put a plate on both sides, put the, the uh, felt separator against the, uh, the ground, which will be on the outside, and just fill the whole middle of it up with uh, activated carbon and gel, and then slide the positive plate right down in the middle of it. That would increase the surface area immensely over this. this is, these little batteries here only have little strips of that stuff in them, so they're not. Uh, there's more uh, surface area on the copper and the galvanized plating than with the with the gel in there. So it, th this is just styled after uh, the way a conventional battery is put together inside. So. I'll have to see here. It's staying right around there and it's not dropping where normally a normal battery would drop. The voltage would drop, it would get up there and then it would come back down. Uh, but this isn't, so it could still be bleeding energy. I don't know. I haven't put any oil in it because I wanted to try this first and see because the, the cells are now sewn in the little pouches. Um, we'll have to wait and see here.